Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hitchhiking Ghost Podcast. On today's episode we will be discussing the reasons why Tomorrowland needs a huge overhaul. I can't really blame that many people over the issues of to, the issues with Tomorrowland as it is very hard to keep up with the rapid advancement of technology and how the vision of the future switches. So I can understand this land is just it's just odd to me it really is odd like almost all of it is terrible and the theming of this land is it's kind of weird i i just really don't understand it the dining options are terrible the attractions definitely need a new update so let's get into it let's start with the theming there are some bright spots. Space Mountain is the coolest looking building I've seen in my life. I don't know, I'm just, you know, I'm biased on that. That building is awesome, though. It's awesome. And the new sign that they put out, that that sign is awesome, too. The sign before it looked awful, and I hated it. So, this new sign is definitely awesome. But, that is where the good portions of this discussion ends what what's with those space rocks they're like at the entrance of tomorrowland they used to be brown now they're like blue or something like that i don't understand them like where are we supposed to be the moon or something i don't understand and why is astro orbiter like the main thing you see whenever you're looking through the land you just see the science fair project that a fifth grader made i really dislike the astro orbiter (laughs) so (laughs) it's definitely definitely kind of odd they try and make it look futuristic but i think it just misses the mark i think all the buildings look ugly to me and the buzz lightyear sign that they have it is obviously delta dream flight with the clouds and stuff like i'm gonna show a picture right now (laughs) that's delta dream flight and then, this is the Buzz Lightyear sign. I know this is unfair, but I dislike this attraction very much. So, speaking of attractions, let's talk about them. Half of them need a complete overhaul. So, the one I would like to start out with is Buzz Lightyear. This ride stinks. It actually does stink, like... Whenever you walk into the queue, it has a strange smell. And the cars are like disgusting. And even the ride track, it's kind of gross. And you can even, the smell just follows you wherever you go. And it's because, you know, people at Disney World sweat a lot. And then you put them in a very condensed space. And, you know, that smell just begins to travel around the queue and it smells terrible i think this buzz lightyear ride does have potential because i do enjoy shooting games like men in black at universal i love it and then at some other theme parks that have them i love those attractions as well this is the only one that i don't like because it's stationary the gun is stationary and i get that the cart moves i mean that's cool i i guess but it, it's just not my thing, and it could be so much better if you can move the guns. So if you just rip out the carts, put a pressure washer to them, pressure wash the whole inside, put some AC on, and let the guns move around freely, then this attraction could be one of my favorite attractions on property. Because Men in Black is my favorite ride at Universal, so why can't they follow suit? Now, Midway Mania is a lot of fun, but those are screens, and I don't really care that much for the screen shooting games. I like the actual targets like Buzz Lightyear has, but they just miss the mark in their execution. But I doubt it does, because it warrants a long line every single day. The next attraction on my list of 
needing to be destroyed is the Astro Orbiter. This needs to be removed completely. It needs to get out, okay? It is a terrible attraction. It has no Imagineering involved whatsoever. And just the way to load people into the attraction, like the, that tiny elevator, I mean, come on. <sighs> it is just so ugly to me. Looks like a kid's science project, just swirling around. So yeah, it just needs to be removed. I, I am tired of seeing all of those dang Dumbo rip-off rides. Like Aladdin's Magic Carpets, that needs to go. Astro Orbiter needs to follow suit. Now let's talk about the worst ride at the Magic Kingdom. And that is Tomorrowland Speedway. Make the cars electric and trackless, or just remove them altogether, because that is a huge amount of space, completely wasted. Like, that has the potential to be absolutely incredible, and they just completely missed the mark. I rode this as a kid, and you get no free reign of it. I just hit the track over and over and over again, and it's just not fun. It's really not fun. I didn't like it as a kid. I hate it now. Oh my gosh, I rode it one time like last year and I haven't been on it ever again. So definitely don't go on this ride. It's terrible. And the wait times for this ride is just baffling to me. I just don't understand why people would wait 45 minutes to in the hot sun, mind you. I don't know why they would wait 45 minutes in the hot sun, burning to death, and then hopping on an attraction that isn't fun, and then you're just smelling those fumes, like oh my gosh, you get throat cancer from the damn from the fumes that fly up. I apologize. Next we have Stitch's Great Escape. Now I don't hate this ride like everyone else hates it. I'm not on that bandwagon, but it's not that great of an attraction. It's like mediocre, but I do like like Lilo and Stitch. And I think the attraction has some cool effects, but it's still not the best. And I can understand why it needs to be gotten rid of. Like, I would get rid of it. And Disney knows this because, you know, it's off the park map and it's only in seasonal operation. But that ride's been there for 15 years and they haven't addressed it one time. Like, I don't get why it hasn't been taken out sooner. It's just crazy to me. Yeah, but Sips is a Great Escape, not a great attraction. Probably needs to be gotten rid of or turned into something else. I'm not sure. Because I looked at Alien and Encounter and it looked like the same thing. So it's really not my type of attraction. Now we will get into the lighter tone of the episode. And we will be discussing more attractions. And we will be discussing Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. The only issue that this ride has is that it has, like, no rideability. Rewatchability. If you've seen the show three times or four times, you've already heard every single joke that this show has to offer. But it's still a funny show, so definitely go on it. And it's in the AC... And it's definitely a good time waster while you're waiting for the next Fast Pass. The next attraction I would like to speak about is the Carousel of Progress. This ride is a great attraction, of course. But the last scene is jarring to most people because, you know, it flips around like different decades. Like, sometimes it's the 90s, sometimes it's the 80s, sometimes it's the 2000s. Sometimes it's not even existing yet, so they definitely need to try and work on this part because I don't even know how you're supposed to salvage this part because the future always catches up. So, yeah. I, I think it's funny, so I don't really have an issue with the last scene. I just think, like, this person's bragging about their car phone. They're bragging about turning on the oven yeah it, it, it's funny I think it's funny now let's talk about the people mover an amazing attraction but 
I don't really care for the new voice that narrow it, narrates it. I miss the old voice, the now entering space mountain. You know, that type of voice, I really I really enjoyed that voice, and I don't understand why it has to be the happy-go-lucky voice that, that it is now. So, that's just my two cents on it. But other than that, the People Mover is one of my favorite attractions on property, and I will always take a chance to ride this ride because of the wait time. You know, the Tomorrowland Speedway has a higher wait time than the People Mover, which is... Makes me want to throw up. And now we get into my favorite ride there. Well, I don't know. Space Mountain and People Mover are pretty, pretty close. But Space Mountain, it's, a, an, it's an amazing ride. So I really have no issue with it. But I do miss the projections that happen through the sky. I like the giant asteroid that used to fly around. And all the satellites and all the, all, all the different projections. Now, let's get into the dining. Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios both are terrible with dining, and Tomorrowland is the worst dining land in all of Disney World, honestly. I hate to just steamroll the options, so I would like to say that I do enjoy a nice icy from the lunching pad, and is actually cheaper than the movie theater, so that's something to know. And I also enjoy Sunny Eclipse and Cosmic Rays, but other than that, Cosmic Rays is terrible, and other than I see, Lunching Pad is... Don't go there. Just go Pico's Bills, go to... Go off Magic Kingdom property, honestly. You can go to the... You got the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, the Contemporary. There are a lot of quality dining options at those locations. Just hop on the monorail and go. Or hop on the monorail and go to Epcot. Epcot's amazing with dining options. So, yeah, just never eat in Tomorrowland. It's just, it's just not worth it. But all in all, this land just needs a rehaul. Just needs a total rehaul. But I eagerly await the addition of Tron. I think that is going to be an awesome ride, and I think that it'll you know, boost the real estate values in Tomorrowland. But I do think it's just a wig on a pig, and they really need to give this land more love. So I would like to thank everyone for listening, and I hope everyone has a great week. Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm.